sorry I'm a bit late this morning. We've got all over emotional <laughs> over on the free 500 group and it's, it's epic. Lockdown there, who cares? Karen, hello lovely, you are gold. Angie, well done. You're silver. And Tracy, bronze. Hello, I'm going to do this sat down because I'm truly knackered. <laughs> oh, who have we got? Hi Margaret, hi Maureen. Hi Jane. Hi Maggie, hi Gillian. Hi, Cathy. Right, can you see your name on here yet? Look at that. We've run out of windows. Just people deciding enough's enough. Hon honestly, it's, it's just incredible what's happening in the tribe. The new success path. People are loving it. They're absolutely loving it. And that's just the beginning. The new, can, can you see? I, I, so I just love showing you your names. Look at that, Shona, Helen, Nicola, Carrie, Janet, Ruth, Loretta, Gemma, Diane, Geraldine, Mary Jo, Sue. All these ladies have just decided enough's enough and I'm going to join. A lot of them are rejoiners because we don't have a contract in the tribe. We don't have a contract. Fiona, Sasha. Oh, so people do come and go just like a gym membership. But it, people, it's, people think it's a gym, but it isn't. <laughs> it's just so different to that right I'm going to prop you up today because I I'm, I'm, don't want to I'm going to just put you down here oops move my cushion there do you mind I just don't feel like standing I just because then I can just do this so how is everybody uh, thank you oh Jeanette thank you for sharing I always forget so massively pleased. Joe, we're pleased you've joined us as well. So Jeanette, thank you for sharing. You will get a love heart if, if Facebook lets me like and comment. It's been very sporadic at the moment. Uh, hello from Sweden, Sylvia. Lovely to have you. We've had loads of internationals as well in the tribe. In the Well, we're doing the tribe, but in the free 500, we've just done our final workout. Oh, and wasn't it emotional? Just wonderful to see people smashing it. Um, Jackie, of course you can come back. Of course you can come back. Now, if anybody, I do put the links on and they are all over my page, but I'd get it for some people because of our Facebook words, the algorithms change. If you think you want to join the tribe, you've only got till Sunday to decide. Now, we all purposely only open it for four days and people say, well, why do you shut it? And it's because we want to focus on the new members. We want to create this community. And if you've got people just leave coming in and leaving the door open all the time there's always somebody new coming in and it stops that sort of gelling you know it, it's we it's weird so we just only open it twice a year so um but yes if you want <laughs> Eileen you're gonna love it today if you know you want to join the tribe and you just haven't got round to it yet just say me and Simon's in the office now he's doing it with the others he will personally tag you in the link um it will put person come in and give you the link and tag you in it so then you don't have to go looking for it it's just easier because it's often something like that the amount of times i've wanted to join something I've, I've got to be honest i'm a last minute person um let's let's have a look so we i'm a last minute person i would be doing it sunday night at half past 11 at night <laughs> But that's just how I can be sometimes. And the amount of times I remember missing out on something I wanted to do once. It was a, a coaching sort of thing. And I thought, oh, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. And then I just forgot. It got to the Sunday and I literally, I was so wanting to do it as well. But I thought, oh, I'll do it later, I'll do it later. And I forgot and I had to wait another three months before I could get in again. I was absolutely gutted. But my fault. And you know what? I didn't learn. I still leave it till the end. So I'm going to do some readings. But if you want me to give you the link and tag you in it uh, to the tribe, just say me and that's fine. And if you're not interested in it, then that's fine as well. Just turn up to the lives. You still get inspirational stuff, hopefully. And you'll just have to ignore the because there's a few testimonials going up and posts about the tribe, obviously, because we want people to know about it. So we have just done the most epic challenge, free challenge, and to see people completing it. Oh, Claire, join because I've decided I'm worth £29 a month. Well, do you know what, Claire? I am 
determined that you are going to get the most out of that 29 quid when you put it like that clay you think what we can spend money on when i'm eating shit when i'm in one of my this let me let me just show you oh god what should happen and you like that oh i was gonna have that i made that chickpea curry last night and do you know what? i quite liked it i could have that again tomorrow for my tea side chickpea curry oh do you know what? But I could have a chicken curry from the Chinese. What should I have? Oh, I was going to be good. I was going to be good. Oh, fuck it. We'll, I'll have, we'll have a Chinese and then the chickpea curry. I'll, I'll eat it tomorrow for my lunch. So you have a Chinese. Prawn crackers, seaweed. Get us a bar of Tony's Chocolone from the co-op as you're passing. And yeah, I'll have that. And a bottle of wine, please. In fact, get me two, just in case we'll watch a film. And then tomorrow comes... Simon, do you want that chickpea curry? Oh, I do not know. You'll have, you'll have to have that. I make him eat. I make him eat the stuff that I've not had. No, you'll have that. No, I'm going to have a bacon butty. <laughs> I'm not doing it now. I'm not doing my diet. I'm sick of it. So, no, I'm not doing it. I'll leave it for a bit. I just, I just, It's just too much effort. I've got too much going on. I just can't think about it. I don't have to think. Why do people tell themselves that rubbish? you know, I don't want to have to think, so you've got your curry, your two bottles of wine, your bar of Tony's Chocolone, which is two quid in itself, all that is more than 29 quid, and you've had it in one evening, you have had that, in, and don't tell me you don't do that, because you do, you've had that in one evening, the majority of you anyway, 29 quid, and you were going to have a chickpea curry. But the fact is, you've got Betty Bitch voice on your thing going, don't have a chickpea curry, don't have a chickpea curry, have that. Because I don't want you to feel really good. There's nothing wrong with having a Chinese and a bottle of wine and a bar of Tony's chocolate. If you go, oh, side, you know what? I'm that chickpea curry was lovely. But do you know what? It's Friday night. Should we watch a film? Should we have a takeaway? Oh, go on then. Yeah, and get us a bottle of wine. Yeah, and go on, I'll have some chocolate as well. Why not? You know, I've worked hard all week. Oh, that'll be lovely. Can't wait. I'll get the plates ready while you go. And then you forget to get the plates ready because you're too busy watching telly. And it comes in. Where are the plates? <laughs> I bet you've done that as well. And uh, so then you do all that. So you're eating the same amount of stuff. You're eating exactly the same. But then tomorrow comes. What are you having for your lunch, Sally? I'll have that chickpea curry that I had on Thursday night. It was lovely. And you go about your life. You go about your business. And that's the difference. That's the difference. It's the same. But if you can't do that and you struggle to just not be all or nothing, then get yourself in the tribe because your mindset needs work. Because I've done it. I've, and people say, I love it when I do my role play and people say, oh my God, it's like you're talking to me. I know because you're like me. That's what I was like. So I understand, I'm not, I've not seen a comedy sketch and thought, oh, that's quite funny, I'll copy it. I'm speaking from my experience. And because I attract people similar to me with my sort of values a lot, and, and the majority of women have had emotional eating issues, I know what it's like. So when you're considering 29 quid no it's 29 quid i can't i've got netflix i've got amazon prime you know i've got that sock company how much do we have on on monthly stuff now everything's monthly isn't it i've got my apple music i've got spotify i've got that bloody membership that business membership that i never bloody use but i might do so i keep going with it you know what have you got you've got green thumb you know you've got green thumb who come and do your grass you, you've got everything you've got sky you've got your broadband you've got your mobile phone you've got your insurance on your phone you pay all that without even obviously you've got your gas and electric that doesn't count because that's a necessity you know but all the others none of it's a necessity you've got your mobile phone contract you've got the insurance on it i'm trying to think the madness you know we've got loads of business stuff obviously like my active campaign for me emails and all that but you know you think of all the music everything you've got your beauty box that comes you know the only monthly thing that we used to have was the park christmas hamper that was the only monthly thing back in the day and then they went bust didn't they park christmas hamper that was the only monthly or high street vouchers saving every month but now we've got everything monthly so i i did all my bills and cancelled shite and it was more than 29 pound carries it's true do you know what if you're wondering where you can get 29 quid from just go through your monthly subscriptions 
and can you swap one for the tribe and just give it three months. There isn't a three month contract, by the way, but just give it three months and just see how much more beneficial benefit. But that Chinese meal with the two bottles of wine for the weekend, with the chocolate, with the bag of kettle chips is your 29 quid. So thank you for highlighting that. Oh, look at that. Anne Cook. Anne, we've got a few Anne's in. I love it. I say to Sam, Simon, Anne's joining. Anne Cook. Which one's that? Is that with an E or without? <laughs> we do. And why well, can't everybody spell the name the same? But it is, we do. You get, oh, and then there's, that, there's another Anne, Anne without an E. You know, so, um, so it is. So I'm going to read you these now. So if you want me to give you the link for the tribe, so I, I had a personal trainer years ago and then 30 quid a session, Carol. And they just told you to do burpees while they were looking at the mobile phone, probably. God, there's some shit personal trainers around, but there's some bloody brilliant ones as well. So I'm not generalising that I see a lot of personal trainers. When I used to be at the gym waiting to go and teach spinning, there'd, there'd be a couple and they were like, you know, they'd be like, somebody would be killing themselves doing burpees in front of them and they'd just be looking around at other people. It, God, it used to incense me. It used to incense me. At the end of the day, it's good customer service. That's all it is. So let's have a go. Right. We do waste money on crap, Mary. And this is why once the tribe is closed on Sunday night, I will not mention it again for another five months. So that's all you need to know. We might have a Black Friday do. It, it depends. And if you do a virtual... I forgot to tell people as well. If you join the tribe, this is a big, big billy bonus. When you join the tribe, you know the virtual retreats I do twice a year? You get them at half price. So instead of 150 quid for a virtual retreat for three days, you pay £75. Not that I needed to do that some for you because you're a tribe member, because I like to reward loyalty. Who, who I really do. It's really important to me. I'll never discount retreats, ever. But they get a half price loyalty thing. Five ninety five a week, Teresa, was Slimming World. That's mad. That's just to Slimming World. Is that what it is now? It's about four quid when I used to go. Five ninety five a six. That's twenty four quid a month. Well, twenty eight quid a month on a five week month, and that's to literally go stand on scales. You don't even bloody stop to class. Can you imagine, Sai? So I'm off up to Fat Club. Have you got a fiver? Because it used to be £4.50, I think. Have you got a fiver? I'm off to Fat Club. Sorry, I know it's not politically correct, but that's what we called it. Even my children when they were young. My children, when Nancy was four, he got into Fat Club, Mum. It horrifies me that I did all that. Yeah, I'm off to Fat Club. Have you got a fiver? Yeah, because we didn't have Apple Watches then, or contactless. Have you got a fiver? You're rooting around the sofa for your loose change, or looking in the ashtray in the car. Oh, I'm off. Right. No, I'm not, but I'm not staying to class. Oh, it's shit, it's class. No, I'm just going to go and get weighed. And he'd look at me like I was just lost the plot. Literally, driving up, freezing, it's pissing it down. And you run in, park the car, you can't get a parking space, stand in a queue, having to look at all the scan bran and the bloody jelly sweets they used to sell and all the other people with the half-decent perms, you know, with the summer dresses on in the middle of November... And what makes me laugh, honestly, I'd be stood there in the queue and, and I, you shouldn't judge people, but I did, I couldn't help myself. And you stood there in the queue and it was half nine if I couldn't go to my evening class. So I'm going to have to go half nine, I'm out tonight with Julie. So I'd go, I'm just doing a live. Where are they from? Someone just dropped them off. <gasps> I saw someone, but I don't, I, I don't know who Look what I've just got through the front door. Who? They, they, they left on Joe's window, so outside. These are my favourite. Somebody's just dropped those off at my front door. I love you. <laughs> I love you all. Honestly, that is incredible. I've had, I've had um, Kit Kat ones. These, I love these. You only ever get them at Easter. I love them. I had one yesterday. I won't have it tomorrow because I don't eat shit. I don't eat shit Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So I'll have these tomorrow. I'll have all three of them tomorrow when I'm watching rugby because I can. And I don't have to count them. And I don't have to feel guilty. And I don't have to then starve myself or go and do 100 miles on the bike ride because I feel bad, you know. So thank you, Nancy. Just pop the door closed. 
So what was I saying? So sometimes you used to have to go to Slimming World in the morning at half past nine, you know, because I've, I've not, can't go tonight, so I'm going out with Janice. Yeah, no, she's coming round. We're having, didn't do prigs. So having a bottle of wine here first and then we're going out for Chinesey. So, um, right, so I'm going this morning and then I can eat what the hell I want tonight. Brilliant. So I'd go in the morning, I'd stand in the queue by myself and, well, with loads of other people, but not really talking to anybody apart from, oh, have you been good this week? Have you been good? Well, yeah, I feel I have really. It was a bit hard though. I went out, I'd say no to the bread basket. Oh, I've been terrible this week. I dread what these scales are going to say. And yet they're there with the fiver paying it, even though they dread what the scales are going to say and the death stare from the woman. And we do it. And when I was in the queue, the people bought all the processed shit and they were there stuffing it in the faces while they're waiting for the meeting to start. They're there. Oh, so what have you done? And that's all they talked about. So what have you... Oh, I've had that bachelor's pasta and sauce. Oh, and have you seen that new one from Marks and Spencers? That's really like... Oh, it's expensive though. £2.85, but it's only four points. And But it's not very nice. Not very nice. But, you know, it's only four points. So I'll have it. Do you know what? If it wasn't a Friday, I'd eat this right now. But that's my just little bit of discipline I do. Otherwise, I'd probably eat shit every day. You know, so uh, <laughs> it is. Have you gone? Oh, I flicked you off. I'm sorry. I thought you'd gone. You haven't. Right, I'm going to do some readings, but I just don't want... You know, like when people say, I don't have time to exercise, they ro it rolls off the tongue, like... And that's a whole other story. There's a whole video on it in the success path. Um, it rolls off the tongue and they believe it. But people say, I can't afford it. Now, I fully respect, of course I do, that times are tough and if you've been furloughed, and I get that, and because I had time where I couldn't have afforded it. So I'm not speaking about those people. But don't, if you actually can, don't, you just say, do you know what, I don't want to join, Sal, it's not for me. That's absolutely fine. You don't have to join, but don't just let Betty Bitch Voice say, oh, you can't do it at the moment, Sal, it's not a good time, you can't afford it. You know, just really think, well, do you want it? And if you're using that as a reason, then just is there anything you can do not to, if that makes sense. So we have got, I've got three readings for you. First of all, think deeply, then break the habit and then remember what you want it to be. They're just little readings that I love and these are quite nice in a succession. Don't ask me because I'm showing you. Now is the time by Patrick Lindsay. I love it. Now is the time. Oh, Sarah, I love it. There is always time to invest in yourself because you'll have to invest time when you're ill later, let me tell you. It's a bit of an old saying, that, isn't it? Sue North, maybe email Simon, yeah. Sue, you're just so great at helping people. I really love it. Thank you. Oh, cursed is bit the bullet and joined. Love the challenge last year and this year. Well, do you know what? You can do it to your heart's content in there. And what you do when you go and ask for a buddy to do it with you, you know, one month, just or one week, just put a post and say, who fancies doing the free 500 starting on Monday? And you'll have 50 people doing it with you. You know, you just start a little thread and loads of people will do it. And you, there's always accountability. It's absolutely wonderful. So let's have a look. Oh, dear. Oh, Rose, Carol, you're so welcome. Every day I love you and I'm glad I accidentally came across your site. It's been brilliant and very hard, but I got through it. You are more than welcome. This morning, I nearly turned over when you came into my head. And what you said yes is on your improvs. And I got up, Rosalie, that's fantastic. Oh, we're on a small pension, Maureen. Bless you, but decided to invest in me for a change. Well, do you know what? You can do for a month, Maureen. See what you think. There's no pressure to stay in the tribe. Please don't feel that you've got to stay if you think, do you know what? It's it's not for me and that is, I'm feeling the pinch a bit much. I don't want anybody. That's why I don't do these long, year-long offers where you get two months free for 10, for, because your circumstances might change and you've given a big lump sum and then I've got it and you're, you're not using it. I'd hate that. I'd hate it. So that's why we just don't have a contract so you can just come and go as you please. Well, you can go as you please and come back when it's open. Right, stop interrupting myself, Sally. Now is the time to think deeply. Please share it. Look at all these lovely women on there. How often we act without thinking. 
and we suffer the consequences. Take time to consider. Avoid distraction and concentrate. Slowly wash problems through your mind. Consider the consequences. Develop options. Look ahead and then decide. I mean, I love that because all too often, like when I'm, because I'm in a couple of memberships that obviously aren't mine because, you know, I just am. Um, and I know before I joined one of them and I think, you know, and I change which ones I do or like I did the Wim Hof course and that was like 280 quid and I've still not finished it yet. And, you know, I think, God, my little Nordic, my Nordic walking course is just as good as that. Mine's only 27 quid. I know I don't charge enough, but it's just how I like it. And the Wim Hof course, thought, should I do it? Shouldn't I do it? And when money's tight, I think, should I, shouldn't I? And you've got to really slow down and consider. Instead of just saying, oh, I'm not doing it now, I have got time. Or I'm not doing it now, I can't afford it. Or I'm not doing it now, because never stick at anything. Believe in your own stories. You've really got to take time. You know, how often do we act without thinking and suffer the consequences? How often do we speak badly of ourselves? Or how often do we not do the workout? Or do we overeat our same old behaviours? And we just allow ourselves to suffer the consequences. Take time to consider, avoid distraction, concentrate and slowly wash the problems through your mind. So if you've enjoyed this week with all the... I mean, I've really focused on the diet stuff this week because people seem to like it. And it's obviously what I know very well. And, you know, so what let it wash through your mind? What do you recognise what I've been saying in yourself? And yet are you going to be signing up for more of the same for the next 10 years? In another five years, will you still be doing the same? And that's a frightening thought. It doesn't bother you as much when you're 30 or when you're 20, even when you're in your early 40s. But I think once you get to 50 and beyond, you start, you're very aware that you're in the second half of your life. You know, because I'm going to live to 100 and dance the funky chicken on the 100th birthday party. So I'm in the second half of my life. And I don't want to live like that anymore. There's another way. And I've found it. And I've spent the last six years researching it and doing it. And now I've created this community. These are the new people that are joining it. We've already got this many people in who are doing it as well. And it's not perfect. There's always people struggling. There's always people smashing it. But we're not counting points. We're not a slimming world. We're not, we talk badly to ourselves sometimes. Of course we do because we're human. But the majority of the time, we're doing a lot better than we used to do. And it's just brilliant. So consider the consequences, develop the options, look ahead and then just decide. Decide that you're going to do something. Decide are you going to go and do Joe Wicks's plan and you know how much I love him. Decide are you going to join the tribe. Decide are you going to do it on your own once and for all. Decide are you going to do that Nordic walking course. Decide are you going to do that open university degree. Just make a decision. You find are you going to decide to be alcohol free for a bit. Once you make the decision, all the white noise goes out of your head. Albert Einstein said, I think and think for months and years, 99 times the conclusion is false. And the hundredth time I'm right. Good old Albert. Right, now is the time to break the habit. You've got three readings today, three for the price of one. Now is the time to break the habit. Oh, we all have, this is what Sam spoke about in the free 500 last night about habits. We all have habits. Some say, why can I just say, when we think of habits... Why does everybody automatically go to bad habits? Because we do, that's our default. Oh, bad habits, I drink too much, I do much sugar, I'm always sacking off the workout, I never do 20 seconds in a spa session, I always do 18, I come in and pick at Simon because he's not over the edges, you know, all that sort of stuff, I press the snooze button. We always think of bad habits. We all have our habits. Some say they are what separate us from the herd. But when a but when a habit dominates, it becomes a crutch. An excuse to avoid living spontaneously. It grows by unnoticed degree until it captivates. Look for freedom. Challenge your habit. Drop it and set yourself free. It is habits. So people go, oh, I'm addicted to shopping. I'm addicted to alcohol. I'm addicted to food, especially sugar. 
They're all just crutches. I used alcohol for years as a crutch, certainly for four or five years while we we're going through all our financial stress and personal trauma and depression. I used alcohol and it crept up. It crept up, I relied on it more and more because I never used to drink much. I only drank when I went out. I never ever used to drink at home. Even on a Friday night, another Chinese, I'd have a pint of water. And then I just started to drink at home at the weekends and it crept up and it started to dominate. Does your sugar habit dominate you? And even when you're not having the sugar, and this is a lot of you, does it still dominate you because you're thinking, I should or shouldn't I? Oh, should I? I'm going to be good, going to be good, going to be good all day. Yes, I managed it. You get into bed relieved that you made it through another day, not having a binge. But then you just, it goes all tits up on a Tuesday because, you know, you get an upsetting letter or an email, you know, or you've spilt your soup over the kitchen floor or you've, you've bloody cracked an egg as you're putting it in the pan. That can set you over the edge. You might be that way out. And if you crack your egg as you're putting it in the pan to poach it, that, that's it, that's the final straw. Send you straight to the Kit Kat cupboard. I know, you know I'm right. So they're all habits and we rely on them because we've nothing else. You've, you, it's all we know. So you've got to replace them. And we talk about it a lot in the tribe. Simon does a lot of brilliant talks on habits and Sam did one last night in the free 500 group about backpedaling and the trouble is if you're now what this is what a lot of you have done i can feel a role play coming on i hope you don't mind i know your time's precious don't feel you have to stay and watch me honestly because i'm gonna let me just fast forward the comments I can feel another role play oh simon i've just seen the news boris has just said what's he said so right and th this is awful to admit but What's he said? I didn't watch it. I'm upstairs in bed. So what's Boris said? So when we're coming out of lockdown, what's the plan? Right. So how long have we got? How long have we got? So schools are open on the 8th. All right, then. So that means Nancy's going back to school. So when's work lock going back? Just after that. Right, that gives me another week. So what about when social occasions can start? When are shops open? When are shops open? in April but when can we start doing all the other stuff 21st of June oh thank fuck for that that gives me what eight weeks to get rid of this fat that I've put on to my lockdown lad I've got eight weeks oh thank god thank god it's not sooner than that and that's what people start to think because they've, they've, they've done themselves so much torture you know through lockdown and then it becomes this all or nothing again right I've got to get this weight off before we start I'm going back to choir practice literally I'm going back to netball wherever you're going back to I'm going back to work and I want to get this weight off I've got a stone to lose in three weeks I don't want people seeing me like this I'm not going to work in my leggings there's no way I can fit my dress I'm not buying new stuff I can't afford it so I've just got to get this weight off and because you leave it late you've got to go on slim fast or use 18 points at slimming world and do all that sort of stuff and it's a nonsense, so it's going to be all or nothing. So what we teach in the tribe, like Sam was saying, is the backpedalling. You do too much too soon, you get to it and you have to backpedal because you realise you're not going to achieve it. And then that makes you feel even worse. You know, it just reinforces how shit you thought you were in the first place. But what we do in the tribe is do one thing. Water. Start drinking your water. Start monitoring your steps start doing it it gives you the wins it gives you the wins and then you stop the behavior look at that elaine that's exactly what i've been saying about the end of lockdown but it doesn't have to be like that elaine it's torturous you're torturing yourself but elaine thank you for saying it because you will not be on your own a lot of these women have been sent about the end of lockdown not anymore literally they've been in the tribe two days and the relief they feel the relief the feeling Oh my God, I've found my people. Oh my God, I just feel so much better about myself. I've realised I don't have to be all or nothing. They've just printed off the sheet. They're monitoring the steps. They're monitoring the water. They've done the commitment statement. They've introduced you. We give them little tasks to do that aren't including denying yourself chocolate. None of that is in it. We don't deny you anything in the tribe. And you know when you get a diet book and it says, look at this, Simon. I've got a diet book, Simon. I've got, oh, I really love the look at this one. It says it's not a diet on the front. The last diet you'll ever need. So I bought it and I had a quick flick through 
but I've bought it. This is it. This is going to be the one. The last diet. There's no such thing as a diet. This is a lifestyle change. Oh, for fuck's sake. Here we go. Same old shit. This is a lifestyle change. Yeah, what, what are you preparing me for? So you have this amount of things to choose from. We're not going to tell you what to eat. And yes, alcohol is full of empty calories. No shit, Sherlock. I don't need to be told. Right, oh, frigging hell. And chocolate, it's full of sugar and it's bad for you and it makes you tired. So it's best avoided. Best avoided. Avoid it like the frigging plague. I can't avoid chocolate. That's why I'm here, you stupid get. Who are you? Oh, it's a bloody bloke as well. I'm not surprised he writes shit like that. Best avoided. Best avoided chocolate. Well, you try avoiding it when you're having a shit day, you've got a heavy period, your daughter's doing your head in, fat Janice has lost all her weight, you can't stop shoving bloody chocolate down your face and then you've gone and ripped your tights and you try avoid bloody chocolate when you stood there at Aldi and they've got it all lined up at the bloody aisle. You avoid chocolate, John bloody Fletcher, whoever your name is, with your bloody final diet. That's what it's like. So... Best avoided my arse. <laughs> Don't avoid anything. I cannot wait to have those. I have lost a stone of the weight I put on when my back was bad by not dieting, by having my own lifestyle. And my lifestyle is not Janice's lifestyle. We've just had, we had a Janice. Another Janice have joined the tribe yesterday. I'm delighted. Janice, Julie, Tracy, Sharon, they all get it in the neck. Janice is the fat one, you know. <laughs> Janice tongue, bless her, and Janice Fiegel in the tribe. They don't take it personally. But what's what's my lifestyle is different to Janice, Julie, Tracy, Sharon. And sometimes I'm up and buzzing, and sometimes I'll eat these because I love them. And even though I run the tribe and I own the tribe and it's my business, I still sometimes sit here shoving them down my neck because I feel depressed and know that I'm just feel shit and I shouldn't really be doing it but I am because it's just the way I feel that day but because of all the work I've done and this is what we do in the tribe I won't do it day in day out for months on end until I put another three stone on because I've got the tools to stop myself it's not perfect don't join the tribe thinking we're all perfect we all still have the odd binge every now and then we all still do it, but that's life. And that's what my book's going to be about. It's real life, not a frigging lifestyle. You know it's not going to end well when somebody says that. It's a lifestyle. A lifestyle, my arse, you knobhead. So that is normal life, Sarah. Right, so break the habit. We've done that. So set yourself free, he says. Make the decision Look for freedom, challenge your habit, drop it and set yourself free and come and join us. He doesn't say come and join us, I just added that bit in. Mark Twain, habit is habit and not to be flung out of the window by any man, but coaxed downstairs a step at a time. Mark Twain could have written that about my tribe. Do you know how I interpret that? Habit is habit and not to be flung out of the window by any man, but coaxed downstairs. So not to be flung out of the window. So if you've got a habit that you cannot stop eating these for love and money, don't just stop them because that's you flinging your habit out of the window. That's you flinging your habit out of the window going, you know, you might sit here and eat six of them all at once. The first two will be lovely. Oh, that's nice. The third one, Fat bitch. Oh, I don't really want another one. Oh, sod it. I'll have it. I'll have it. You do that. And as you're doing it, you're saying to yourself, I don't want it. I don't want it. I do want it. Oh, sod it. I'll have it. And then you've got another. I do that with walnut whips from M&S when I used to do this. A pack of six from m &S. I'd literally do it. I'd have, I'd have two in the car on the way home. I'd have two. This is it. I'm sorry. This video is going on, but I've got another role play. I'd, I'd do two. <laughs> They'd be, they're like in an egg box. Well, they're not, they're in a box, but they're like two rows of three, aren't they? Walnut whips from M&S. And I'd be there, right, I'm just going to have two. And they're like, they're not big, are they? They don't even have bloody walnuts on anymore. It's ridiculous. Bloody nut allergy. So I don't have them. They're fucking called walnut whips, for God's sake. So if you've got a nut allergy, you're not going to eat them. 
Well, don't take the nut off and ruin it for the rest of us, for God's sake. It does my head in. Whippy. They're called a whip. They're not a walnut whip anymore. It's a nonsense. I'm sorry for the people who have nut allergies, but good God, if you've got a nut allergy, you wouldn't go and have a walnut whip, would you? You can see it sat on the top, like piffy on a bloody rock bun. Oh, I'm getting cross now. But anyway, so I'm there with my walnut whips. I'll have two. I'm pissed off because I can't stop eating sugar. But today was going to be the day that I was going to do it. I'm in Lancaster. I can't be arsed. Fuck it, I'll start tomorrow. So I buy loads of chocolate. I get some chocolatey rings from MS. I get a bag of walnut whips. I get a giant bag of orange buttons and I buy it all. I'm not bothered. And I'm like, I'm not bothered because I'm starting to. I literally, this is life. I've done this. I'm not even making it up to try and be funny or build it up. I've done all that. Don't even like sandwiches. And I'll buy a sandwich, a shop bought sandwich, and a bag of crisps and a can of, a can of proper Coke and have it all. And I start in the car on the way home. I thought, right, I'm going to have this when I get home, but I'm going to have a walnut whip. I don't want them all. And then it's going to last me all weekend. So I have one and then I have two and I think I'll just add the top two because I've only opened it a bit and I'm driving. And I think, no, I'll have the next one. And so then when I've had three, I've had a layer. I thought, I'll just have the third one. Then I've had half of them. And so it's a nice, neat layer. I'm not having the others. So I chuck, put them in the back seat where I can't get them. I'm not having any more, I'm not having any more, it's ridiculous, I cannot eat a whole box of whips, bloody walnut whips, before I get home, so I've chucked them in the back seat, and they've fallen, and then because I've stopped, they've fallen down on the footwell behind me, so I come to some traffic lights, walnut whips, walnut whips, walnut whips, I'm not having them, I want them, I want them, this urge is just so powerful to have these walnut whips, so I literally, I'm holding the steering wheel, and I'm putting my foot on the clutch, trying to keep my foot on the clutch and I'm like this behind the back seat reaching thinking if my foot slips off this clutch I'm going to jump forward I'm at traffic light queue the poor man next to me in his wagon thinks I'm having some sort of seizure and the embarrassment I feel this happened in Lancaster once outside Sainsbury's at the Pelican Crossing and I was like that looking like I'd sort of done something <laughs> And he's looking down at me and I've more red face because I'm holding my breath. And I managed by the skin of my finger to pick these walnut whips up and I'm trying to get... So I'm having to do a core workout, pulling on the steering wheel as I get up, holding these walnut whips. <laughs> and he's look, is this man's looking at me? <laughs> I was mortified. And do you know what? I was embarrassed at myself. I thought, Are you knobhead... Why can't you just be like a normal person and just not have to eat a whole box of walnut whips all at once? There's no need to have them. But do you know why I was eating them all at once? It's because I was in the diet mentality and knowing that it was going to be the last day and I wasn't giving myself permission to eat them tomorrow. So I had to get rid of them all at once. And then went home and then I ate the big pack of chocolate buttons and I ate all the chocolatey rings all in a day because I thought it was going to be the last time. And I have done that for years, but no more. I don't do it anymore. Occasionally I'll have the odd binge day, but that's all it tends to be. It is because I know nothing's off limits. And it's so, I will not eat these today. I won't eat them. And I'm I'm not even trying. I just won't have them today. I'll have them tomorrow. And I'll love them. And I love that little bit of discipline with myself. It's called the Monday, Wednesday, Friday diet. <laughs> I still eat well. And I might eat, overeat a bit tomorrow. It doesn't matter. But it's knowing that you can have it. So just know that you're not on your own. So habit is habit. And that's when I'm eating those walnut whips, that is me flinging the habit out the window. But instead, you coax it down the stairs a step at a time. So me allowing myself these is me just coaxing my habit. I'm just changing it. But I am free from the diet trap. It's just wonderful. So I tell you, you wouldn't think this is what the tribe's all about. Now, this is what it's about, this last one. You've got one more. <laughs> no it's not just you Pamela it really isn't don't get me wrong we don't talk about diet all the time the tribe it's not like this you know we do we're just all aware that we're all we all used to be knobheads 
And if there's always somebody at it, so you'll never be on your own. <laughs> That's what I love about it. There's no, oh, what are you doing? You shouldn't be doing that. That's not going to help your diet. Fill your boots. If you're having a bad day, there's nothing better than having a good old face full of chocolate in my mind. There isn't. I love it. So now is the time to remember what you wanted to be. Last one. You're still over 200 of you on. I'm impressed. Never sell yourself short. <laughs> Whatever the circumstances and however low you feel, recall your hopes and plans and use them as your benchmark. Reassess your position and please aim high again. You know, it's just... How often do we sell ourselves short? How often? Eh? How often do you sell yourself short? I'm serious. How often do you just tolerate yourself? Do you put up with yourself? Do you just think... Do you accept yourself? And there's a difference between accepting yourself because you love yourself and body positivity. And there's a difference between accepting yourself in a that'll do way. That'll That's going to have to do. That'll do. I'm shit, really. But that's... It's just how it's going to have to be for the next 40 years, really. It doesn't have to be that way. It doesn't. You know, you don't have to just accept it. What are your hopes and plans? I don't care whether you're 60 or 28 or 71. What are your hopes and dreams? Look at all these. And this is what makes me cry. I can't, On Monday morning, I will be doing a Magic Monday Live to this lot. I do it every week in the tribe. And I cannot wait because all these ladies who've joined, a lot of them have rejoined us, they know what to expect. I can't wait. I cannot wait to work my arse off to make sure they have the best experience. To keep, I will literally, it's where I get my passion to keep making people realise that it doesn't have to be a certain way, to make people realise that they shouldn't be speaking badly about themselves or other people because then it all just gets, you know, too much. But what are your hopes and plans? I love reminding people that it's good to have hopes and plans. Use them as a benchmark. Reassess your position. Name high again. And William Blake said, no bird soars too high if he soars with his own wings. Oh, my God. That was in 1757. No bird soars too high if he soars with his own wings. The trouble is when you do a lifestyle change or a plan or a diet or Weight Watchers, a Slimming World, or and you're doing it using willpower, you're not soaring with your own wings. You're soaring with somebody else's and it won't last. Oh, it's so hard to explain to people what we do in the tribe. What we do... I'm going to use this analogy, is we give you your own wings, your own wings, Janice, Julie, Tracy, Sharon, whatever your name is, we give you, if you're Julie, we give you Julie's wings. It's no good using Sharon's wings. They're a different fit. They're made of a different material. She's got a different shaped body to you, so her wings aren't going to work for you. But the trouble is, we look at all these different diet books and diet clubs looking for the same set of frigging wings as everybody else. I've never used this analogy before. This is brand new and I'm loving it. You've got to find your own wings. And we don't know where to look half the time. The majority of the time, we can't be arse looking because we don't feel like looking because we're too busy hating ourselves because we're too busy shoving these in, eating walnut whips out of the back of the car because we think it's going to be the last day we're allowed to do it. So find your own wings. And I tell you, I don't want to pressure anybody to join the tribe. I really don't. But I want you to know that you've got a damn sight better chance of finding them there, surrounded by other women who are doing the very same thing as you. It's just incredible. I don't know why. I hope, I hope I've not upset anybody. I know I don't know why you, I may, I've made you cry. I've got my crying out this morning. I cried again in the in the 500. I love my... Do you know what? Who loves the wings? That is the best place to be when you love your own wings. Amanda, that is amazing. When you love your own wings. 
there's no there'll be no other step up from that happiness and that contentment when you love your own wings so that's all i've got to say if you want to join the tribe if you want to come and join us for that 29 quid i'd be like this if it was free i'd be convincing yourself as much if it was free i really would I just don't know what else to say. But just say me and we'll come and give you the link. But please, if you think you can get your own wings, then that's not all please yourself. You know what your mum used to say to you? Please yourself. Or your teacher, please yourself. I don't mean that. I don't mean please yourself. I mean really do please yourself. You know, if you're doing it, you might be on fire at the moment and that's brilliant. So you might not need the tribe and that is great. But if you just think, do you know what, I'm going to try a different way, then come and join us. Or if you're doing your way and you love it and you just want to be involved in this community for 29 quid a month, that's your bloody Netflix and your Apple Music. Not that I'd be without Netflix and my Apple Music, thank you very much. It's worth every penny and so is my Amazon Prime. <laughs> it is, but, you know, there's other things I know. All right, then, I'm going to love you and leave you. So yes, the link's on if you want to join. If you're not interested in joining the tribe, can I genuinely just thank you for putting up with all the promotional stuff that's going to be happening this week. It finishes on Sunday night. If you're filtering through it and you actually still quite like my videos and you're on my email list and were... I mean, the email that went out this morning, I loved it. I wrote it two days ago. It was about me getting emotional and how we don't rate ourselves enough. We don't acknowledge ourselves enough when we've had achievements and that's what it was about so if you're on my email list and you're just not interested in joining the tribe and you're still on it and you tolerate this these bits of promotions that are due whether it's a virtual retreat or a tribe opening then can i just sincerely thank you for putting up with it and just until it's finished i genuinely, genuinely appreciate it. I really do. I really, really appreciate that because it would do your head in. For fuck's sake, Sal, I'm not interested in your goddamn tribe. Will you stop going on about it? But you're still here. I really, really appreciate that more than you'll ever know. So, um, yeah, we've done a long one this morning, Tina. 55 minutes. You've had some corkers this week. Right, tomorrow, 9 o'clock, we're live walking. Virtual walk. You can Nordic walk. Hop, skip, jump, whatever you want. Post your photos on it. And then half nine, I'm going to try and do a double. It'll be on StreamYard if I work it. Streaming into my free 500 group and this group. It's the final live of the week. So uh, to close the tribe doors, that's what we're doing. So there'll be inspired. I might well, have to do a role play. I'll just have an argument with Sam because I'm going to bring him on it as well. And I'm going to try and get some people in who've been in the tribe and some brand new is as well just so you, we can have a laugh all right then do you know what you are more than welcome joan you are more than welcome and do you know what you're all just brilliant and i love doing this community i love this free community i love my paid community and the tribe obviously is very different in the tribe because it's a lot more intimate it's not just me talking at you you know so you really get to know people better and everybody else gets to know people better and that's the beauty of it but I love this free page. I love the fact that you all just get it. You all just get the fact. You don't judge me. You don't judge me for eating a whole pack of walnut whips. You don't judge me for, oh, I'll try being keto for a bit. Or I might do a bit of veganism and try that. Because you've got to be your own best guinea pig. The majority of you, well, unless you're a troll, you don't judge. And I really, really thank you for that. And so, but that means then you don't judge each other. It's wonderful. It really is. Okay. All right, then. So please don't hesitate to join the tribe. It's the best 29 I've ever paid, says Elaine. How wonderful is that? I know. It really is. We've got Shelley with her live. She's entertaining. <laughs> Sam and Sam. The four, S Club 4, the callers. S Club 4. Sally, Simon, Shelley and Sam. Look at him. Just look. He's fast asleep now. Oh, little, look at his ears. Look at that. How does that hair know to grow like that? No other cats have it, but a Maine Coon has this extra bit of hair. 
it makes me marvel at life and the wonders of the universe when things like that happen. You know, not rockets going up into space, but the fact that how does the hair on a main Coon cat's ears know how to carry on growing just that extra centimetre? They're the things that keep me awake at night. <laughs> and after saying that, you'll probably be not subscribing to the tribe because that's the sort of level of, of things that you're dealing with. <laughs> I'm going lots of love. I'm going to come in and do it. So put me on. I'm going to come in and do your comments. Set any me's. We'll tag you in the link. Come and join us. Lots of love. Bye-bye.